Hello trail travelers. Today we are hitting Holy Cross Trail. Uh, it's one of the more difficult trails in Colorado, so hopefully uh, it won't get too bad. I've watched a lot of videos on it, so looks like it's pretty doable here in Optimus. And with us today we have Chris and uh, Christina and Josh in the Rubistina, and we have Kevin and Brittany from Lightbright in the Stepchild. So we definitely have some capable rigs. Let's go have some fun. Well, we're getting started here on the Holy Cross City Trailhead. And from the looks of it, we go right from a dirt road right into a rock climb or a kind of a rock garden area. So it should be, should be pretty fun. Um, we'll see how it goes we got Kevin and Brittany up in the front with the stepchild leading the way because they've done this before and the Rubistina in front of us and uh, we're taking up the tail end at the moment looking forward to this trail well so far uh, we're at the half mile mark and it's taken us 13 minutes to get here it's pretty steep very rocky and uh, I would definitely say on a difficulty scale it's pretty high up there just because it of the how, how rocky it is I haven't had to use lockers got plenty of ground clearance that hasn't been an issue so at this point pretty much a stock Jeep with decent tires is gonna get up to at least the half the half half mile point but we'll see how it goes as we keep going we are 31 minutes into the trail and we have just hit one mile so we are looking along at an average speed of two miles an hour uh, it has got significantly more difficult some big rocks to climb over and really got to pick your line and without at least a couple inches of extra lift and some decent tires 37s you are going to do some scraping uh, I've hit a couple rocks on the pumpkin not too bad um, but a little more lift would be nice but this is pretty much the minimum I would say is something like a Rubicon with an additional two and a half inch of lift and 37 inch tires I don't think I'd try and come in here with anything less, otherwise you're going to be doing a lot of rock scraping. That was the rock sliders. The 1.2 mile mark, there is a turnoff that you can go if it's starting to get a little much for you. Uh, takes you down to the river, good place to turn around and head back. But of course, we're with Kevin and Brittany and uh, we're gonna keep going.
evolutionary process going on. But mankind won't be destroyed. The fact that you and I are working here today is evidence of that. Well, we've hit the two mile mark and right on schedule at one hour. Actually, 59 minutes and 57 seconds. So we are cruising along right at two miles an hour. That obstacle right past the sign, that thing was a doozy. Uh, took a little um, horsepower to get up that. And then past that, it's been more like this. There's been um, just a, more of a rocky trail. So if you can get past that obstacle right at the sign, you're going to be in good shape for a while. But that thing, that was a little tough.
river crossing wasn't too bad. Uh, we got across it pretty easy, all things considered. Josh got a little hung up. We had to winch him back just a few feet, but otherwise, no big deal. Uh, Brittany thought that's where we were going to get hung up the most because right before the big rocks is where it gets really dug out. And we got lucky. It really wasn't too bad for the amount of water that was there. And we pulled right through. So that was a good little obstacle right there. And uh, we're actually starting to see little patches of snow, which uh, it doesn't bode well for uh, finishing, but we'll have to see how things go. Hopefully it's just little patches here and there and we can make it all the way to Cleveland Rock. We're at three and a half miles and it's taken us two hours and seven minutes. So we're kind of right on that two miles an hour, a little less. And as you come up this incline here off to the right, you'll see the old, uh, well, I guess city. Uh, there's some, looks like some mine tailings over there. Some equipment. It's kind of cool. Some old rusty stuff. Gotta love old rusty stuff. Holy Cross Trail definitely earns its reputation for being one of the more difficult Jeep trails in Colorado. It's definitely fun and it's definitely a challenge, so be prepared. Now it is going to take the better part of a day. We got there on the trailhead about 11 and didn't get back till about 5, 5.30 or so, so be sure and plan a full day for it. But if you want a challenge, you want something fun, check out Holy Cross Trail. It definitely deserves its place in the Jeep Badge of Honor trails. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.